passing kids Agape Avenue We're happy to spend this time with you I see in kids such a wonderful day To learn what the Bible has to say I'm glad to see all my friends And to know that Jesus' love won't end I see in kids, we're glad you can stay Today's going to be a very awesome After another defeat, discouragement is getting desperate. Oh my goodness. 
That Bible verse, Philippians 4.13, is really beating me up. Oh, my goodness. But, look, there's Winnie's best friend, Dulce. I know what to do. Let me see what she's up to. Maybe I could use her to knock her down. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, my goodness. I'm so, so, so excited that they asked me to be the VBS spokesperson this year. I can't believe it. Like, I just can't believe it. For the whole VBS, I'm going to be the spokesperson. I'm so happy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. I know how to handle this one. Look, Dulce's cousin, Karen, she doesn't know it, but she works for my boss. I'm going to use her, a cousin, a family member, to discourage Dulce. I can't believe my mom makes me hang out with my cousin, Dulce. Whoa, that stinks. Yeah, and like... She hopes that Dulce will rub off on me, but <laughs> she's just a goody-goody, and I am not. <laughs> oh, Karen. Never. Look, there she is, and she thinks she's so much better than you. Who does she think she is? She's not better than me. And have you heard? She's going to be the spokesperson for VBS. Oh, brother, why would Miss Bethany put her in charge like that? Mm, you would be better than her. I do so much better than Dulce. You know what? Go discourage her. Go, Karen, go. I'm on it. Excellent. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to get my detective gear ready to go. So excited. Hi, Cousin Dulce. Hey, hey, Karen, what's up? What you doing? Uh, oh, oh, my goodness. Karen, let me tell you. Let me tell you before you tell me anything. I'm going to be the spokesperson for VBS. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm so super duper duper excited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That Isn't that crazy? Is, that is so crazy. What? Dulce, I mean, that makes no sense. But what do you mean? I mean, there's nothing special about you, you know? Like, you're too young to be a spokesperson. Oh, oh my goodness. You really think so, Karen? Look, Dulce, yeah. I'm your cousin. I know you super well, okay? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just feel like you'll do, like, a horrible job and mess it up. Oh, my Oh my goodness, you think I want to mess up the VBS? Oh, I don't want to mess up the VBS. Well, then you should tell them that, like, you don't want to be involved because, <gasps> like, you'll do very bad. I mean, I, but I don't want to ruin the, the whole VBS. So I'm gonna, I should go tell Miss Bethany that I can't, I can't be the spokesperson anymore. Yeah, you're making the right choice. Okay. Okay, well, I was so excited, Karen, but, but I think you're right. I'm too young. So yeah. I just better go tell Miss Bezany that I can. Yes. Oh, okay, Karen. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye, Cousin Bye. Dulce. <laughs> Loser. La, 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 la. Dulce. What's wrong, Dulce? Are you crying, Dulce? <laughs> Hi, Winnie. It's because I don't want to ruin VBS, Winnie. Hop the phone. Why will you ruin VBS? And who made you cry? Stop crying. Stop crying. Then you can talk to me. Okay, okay. It's because it's because I'm too young to be the spokesperson, and and the spokesperson's super duper important. But what? And, but don't say. And I'm gonna ruin the whole don't VBS. Say don't say. Who asked you to be the VBS spokesperson? Miss Bethany and, and Pastor Jeff. Well, don't you think they prayed about it before they even asked you? Well, I guess you yeah, may be young. Well, then, well, then, what? of course they did because they followed Jesus and he knows Jesus is going to use you. You really think so, Winnie? Of of course I think so. I uh, don't be so ridiculous. I I I I know that in our Bible verse it mm -hmm. says Philippians 4 13. 
I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That means through Jesus, you can do all things, we'll say. Well, even if I'm like little and young? Oh, yeah, of course you're young because you know what? You're older than me. I'm only six and a half. Yeah. And you see this mask? Yeah, the mask on your you face. You see this cape? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am a superhero <gasps> and I'm only six and Jesus is my superhero. Power. Oh, yeah, and he's your superpower, that's right. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. And he could be your superpower, too, do you say? You really, you really think so? Of course I think so. I, I'm not a liar. No, you're right, you're right. And Jesus loves me, right? And he loves you, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. and don't let discouragement. He's been walking right here, moving around here on oh. Bob Avenue a lot. Oh, my goodness. And I almost let him, he almost let me, like, ruin it. And I wasn't going to help in VBS, but I'm going to still help. I'm yeah. going to help. Mm -hmm. And you know mm -hmm. what? What happened? I'm going to take discouragement <gasps> down. Well, what are you going to do, Winnie? Maybe Detective Dulce can uh, get on the case and help me track him down. Oh this my discouragement, goodness. this that's discouragement fella. That's, that's a great idea. You know what? Let's go look for him. Well, because where should we go? I think that way over there. Oh, let's go. That's okay, let's go look. Discouragement, we're I'm, coming I'm, for I'm, you. We're looking for you, discouragement. Looks like discouragement needs to watch his back. There you are. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here on Agape Avenue. I love it when you come to visit with us. We've been working on Philippians 4.13, and this is what it says. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Man, I love that verse. Today, we saw what happened when Dulce allowed someone to discourage her, convinced her, that she was too young to do the job she was given. They want Dulce to be the spokesperson for Vacation Bible School because Dulce is a detective. Now Dulce, after going through that sad time, chose to listen to her friend. And we find out that, yes, we might be young, but we're never alone. And no matter how young you are, or how small you are, when you've been given a job, or if you feel the Lord telling you that there's something you need to do, you can do it. Because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Now I have here, this is a mini sledgehammer, and it's pretty heavy. And I wanna show you something, and I'm gonna ask my daughter Bethany to come over here and help us out. And I was showing her earlier that there's a, a, a forearm exercise that we used to do with a hammer like this, but you got to grab it at the very, very end and using just your wrist, lift the hammer straight. Well, wow, it is a really heavy hammer. This is all iron and it's real, real heavy. Well, there's good news here though. See, I'm her dad. And whenever Bethany needs help, I'm always ready to help her. So I could come over here and together, she's no longer only using her strength. I'm helping her out. And there we go. We're able to lift it like nothing because she's not doing it by herself. She's using my strength to help her get the job done. And there it is. Thanks, Beth. You're awesome. See, we're never on our own. When we've been given a job to do, when God has placed something on our hearts, and though it may seem difficult, we're never alone. Jesus says he'll never leave us or forsake us. That means he's always going to be there for us, and we're never left alone. So when God puts something on your heart, it doesn't matter how old you are, how big you are, how strong you are. It doesn't matter. What matters is we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Hello, agents. We need your help. We are in the middle of a very important investigation. You can join the CIA Christians in Action July 20th to the 23rd. Limited spots are available. Make sure to register online, five years old to fifth grade. We're on the case. I'm a little 
little flower. Hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 Minnie. Hi. Hey, I have Sandra. a question, girls. Okay, what what's happened? up? Okay, now let's say there's uh, some kids watching our show. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they would like to send us a picture or a video or something. Oh, what right. Do they do? Oh, that's, that was easy. I know that one. I know okay. that one. They can send it through us through mail, right? Oh, like, how yeah. it, like we always do. Yeah. yeah. 4519 yeah, East yeah, Delmar Boulevard, yeah. 780. For one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's but, the one. But hold the phone, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. What happened? You can also now send us an email. Oh, email. Yeah, it's oh. icmkidsonline at gmail.com. Wow. And you can send us letters, and Ooh. we'll write you back. Ooh. You can send us drawings, oh and we'll goodness. put them in our beautiful wall of yeah, beautiful yeah, yeah. art. And there's wow. just so many things. Or you can send us a video thing. Hey. Wow. I would so love cool. that. Wow. We are so with it. Yeah. 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 So don't forget, everybody, you can send us your videos, your pictures, your drawings, and just if you want to send some love. Yeah. Aw, love. yeah. We, we love like love. that, too. We love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. See you, see you. I look like a baby with this thing on my head. But I love it. I love it. You look fabulous. Thank you. You are so important. I, I, I want you to know that, right, Pastor Paulo? Yes, they're very important, each and every one of you. And you're valuable. Yes. You are so valuable to God that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for your sins. Yes, he did. Because you're important. The Bible says he even knows how many hairs are on your head. He loves you. Now, if you're watching today, maybe you've never asked Jesus to come into your heart. Well, it's incredibly important. Yes. As a matter of fact, that's what makes us a Christian. That's exactly right. When we ask Jesus to come into our heart. Yes. Now, I have Pastor Polly here to help me out. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to say a prayer. Yes. And you repeat after me the way Pastor Paula is. Right. And if you say that prayer and you repeat after us, then you just ask Jesus into your heart. Now watch, it, it's not that hard. All you got to do is you bow your head, you close, and you say, say, Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For loving me. For loving me. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. You died for me. You died for me. You came back to life for me. You came back to life for me. Now come into my life. Now come into my life. Please forgive me of my sin. Please forgive me of my sin. And help me. And help me. Live for you. Live for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's all there is to it. Now, if you said that prayer and you really meant it, you just asked Jesus into your heart. Yes. And you know what? Message us. Let us know that you've asked Jesus into your heart. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, friends! Oh, what happened? My... Oh, I'm sorry, friends. Yeah. Right, friends. Yes. Oh, oh, the people over there. Yeah, the the, the, the people, the people, people watching. watching. Oh, hey, friends! If you would like us to come to your church, Ooh. you can go ahead and send us an email yeah, at yeah. ICMKids online at gmail.com we've already been mm. to to Rowlett and we've yeah. been to uvalde texas mm -hmm. wow yeah. that would be so much fun yeah. i would love to go so just send us an email with all your information and we'll get back to you we'll that see you later not, wait not us because we're kids or oh, yeah, probably not. like uh bethany or, or pastor, pastor jeff, jeff. Yeah. yeah yeah all right bye see you later what a great idea yeah.